and I recently moved back to Brooklyn. In my last video, I shared over 10 different apartments that we looked at when we were um, looking to move, and I ended up in one of those apartments. So I wanted to give a little bit of an update video just sort of on, it's kind of a casual vloggy style that I'm trying. On the casual note, that's why I'm in my pajamas, but also because I'm filming something, I'm in a full face of makeup. So it's all about balance. I'm gonna show you some clips of me moving. I was living in an apartment in Hell's Kitchen. I was subletting a room for my friend Molly and we were living together for a couple of months. And then from Hell's Kitchen, I moved to North Brooklyn with a different roommate, Anastasia, and this is our current apartment. So I wanted to just give a little bit of an update video. I'm gonna try to do a combination of explaining things from this shot here, and then I will also put in my little vloggy moments that I recorded and just sort of show you the process from my apartment being totally bare bones and how I got everything over to my apartment and up until now, which my room is absolutely not done. I've only lived here for like three weeks. So on that note, I will get started with some of my moving footage. <laughs> okay, so today is Saturday. It's the day after Christmas and I have moved some stuff over into my new apartment which you can see some things behind me. These are the only two furniture pieces that I have in my room right now. Today I took two cars from Manhattan and just moved some of my stuff over. I have most of the rest of it will be moving over tomorrow, including my bed and my cat. So I'll be sleeping here starting tomorrow night. Sort of started setting up my closet as well. And now I'm done and I'm basically just procrastinating taking the subway back to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> My first mirror of this room, which I got on Facebook Marketplace. I just got a new comforter from Deuce and Deuce in. Um, and then behind me, <laughs> my windowsill is currently acting as a place to store objects. I have more presents and boxes, tripod, bag, robot vacuum cleaner. This is what I'm currently using to house a lot of my clothes because I don't have a dresser just yet. And then this is my <laughs> closet currently. It's not very full, so I have a lot of room actually, but these are basically essentially all of the clothes that I have with me in New York right now since I've been subletting. I told you I was subletting in Hell's Kitchen and I was actually living in a room that was unfurnished. So pretty much all I had in the room was my mattress, which was on the ground and I had two chairs <laughs> and that was all the furniture in my room. I also had like a little plastic set of drawers that I kept some clothes in. Um, so my move honestly was not that complicated. I didn't need to hire movers. I didn't need to rent a truck or a van or anything. I basically just took, I think in total, four or five lifts from Manhattan to Brooklyn um, over the course of like three days. So it really wasn't that complicated. I basically like filled up my, I had a suitcase and I filled my suitcase and just like was doing trips like that. So the only large object I had to move was my mattress. And I refused to like rent a vehicle that would be large enough to hold a mattress. So the creative solution that I came up with was to fold my mattress in half, hamburger style, uh, tape it closed so that it would stay folded in half, carry it down five flights of stairs, uh, squeeze it into the back of an Uber XL, and then move it over to Brooklyn, which is exactly what I did. So I folded my mattress in half and I'm currently in the process of taping it together so that it stays folded so that I can just put it in the back of an Uber XL and hopefully get it to my next apartment. And I'll show you my technique. The technique. So my plan today is to take over my mattress with my roommate. It's like 8.30 or 9 right now, so we're gonna go pretty soon. And then I'm 
probably going to do a couple more Uber runs from this apartment to my next apartment. And then tonight I will be staying there. I would film taking the mattress down five flights of stairs, but then how would I take the mattress down five flights of stairs? So just imagine me struggling to get my mattress down the stairs and into an Uber. Bye. Bye, pretty view of Manhattan. This is my mattress in the back. Molly helps me. This is your Molly. This is my Molly. This is my mattress folded in half. Do you want hand sanitizer? Yes, please. <laughs> As you can see, maybe you can't, there's a long box behind me, which is going to be a bed frame eventually. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> Obviously, get rid of all the boxes, move this plastic bin probably to my closet. I'm not sure if this will stay here or not, but wherever it ends up, I want to add a mirror above it right here. I'm going to add this gold mirror, which is from the same era. I think they're both from the 70s. So yeah, I'll show you the update once everything is sort of put in its place, and then that will be where my room is at for the time being. It don't even matter if today was the worst day Just remember what you can say That we breathe in, just in, breathe out and we breathe in. So I am going to show you the where my room is at right now, I guess I am going to take you on a mini tour of my bedroom And just sort of update you I'm We're in almost three weeks into living here. So I'm gonna just show you all of the furniture I've been acquiring. Um, everything I bought is secondhand unless I say so. So <laughs> this is my favorite part of my room so far. So I bought this beautiful gentleman's chest on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was a hassle to get here because as you can see, it is huge, but she is beautiful, authentic 1970s. She needs some love, so I'm going to buy, you can see she has some nicks at the bottom here. I'm going to buy one of those like wood markers, I think, to give this some new life. If you have any recommendations on how to fix older wood with nicks in it, please let me know. Um, up here above this mirror, I showed you in my tour of my bedroom at my parents' house. This is actually from my mom's personal collection 
has a flamingo painted into it. I love it. This is so cool. I feel like these two pieces were meant to be together and they finally are. And then I have a mirror on the ground. Um, this is for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Mostly it's just really heavy and I don't know where it's going to end up. This is my desk setup, which I will show you my desk chair as well. This is my desk chair currently. I like that it has these little wood details at the bottom. So this chair is from Dutch Oven Finds, which is an Instagram account that sells used furniture and vintage furniture out of, I think they're out of Ridgewood, um, but super duper sweet. I bought it, they brought it here the next morning. Um, and then this is my desk currently. This is a French Provencial style desk from the 1960s. I actually just listed this on Facebook Marketplace because I feel like, I'm sure you can see in this picture, but like everything is cream. Beep up boop. But I think what I want is something that's a little bit more mid-century modern, um, like those teak style desks. I'm trying to find one that's a good price though. I don't wanna spend $800 on a desk. I want to spend like a quarter of that. So see, Gus likes the desk. And then moving on to my favorite part. This is my bed, my favorite part of my room. Look at the sunshine. Um, so these are the two things that I did not buy secondhand. So my um, coverlet is from Deuce and Deucin, which is a Brooklyn based company. And then my bed frame itself is Zinus which is a really convenient website that I found that brought shipped me a platform bed in a very short period of time. This is a temporary rug. I need a real rug. I mean, I need a rug that goes like <laughs> around my bed, not just boop. But I love this rug. This is another one from um, the video at my parents' house. I had this in my bedroom at my parents' house. Um, right now I also have <laughs> A little chair as a bedside table, currently housing a gold tufted pillow and a troll doll. Uh, this chair is totally temporary. I will eventually get a bedside table. I just had this at the apartment I was subletting and I needed a desk chair that was temporary, so I brought this over here. Yeah, this is my room. So I think I'm gonna end the video right here. I thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this was a new style for me to try out so comment down below let me know if you'd like to see more vlogs from me because it was kind of fun to try something new and to do a lot more like handheld talking to the camera type of stuff i will be sharing more videos of the interior of my apartment there's so much more to come this apartment i mean it's livable right now but it's nowhere near complete so if you like this video i'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up if you'd subscribe down below i will be posting way more videos about the interior of this apartment and about my life in New York City. So I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Breathe out, breathe out.